My name is Don Coleman, and I'm going to talk to you today about adding Bluetooth to your Arduino project. Um, all these slides will be online at don.github.io slash slides. There'll be a link in the last slide so you can download them. So really, the goal today is we want to take an Arduino, and we want to hook it to something like a phone or a computer. And uh, so I'm going to be using the Arduino Uno and a couple of phones here. And really, we want to be sending data back and forth between the two. So there's a bunch of ways we can do that, but one of the ways is Bluetooth. So Bluetooth works well if your computer or your phone has Bluetooth, which most do, and you're going to be in close proximity to the device because Bluetooth is only about uh, 30 feet is kind of one of the advertised distances there. So we're going to start off with Bluetooth Classic, which has been around for a long time. And Bluetooth Classic provides something called Serial Port Profile, which basically lets us make a serial port uh, over Bluetooth. It's as if we had a big, long wire connected between the two devices. We can send data back and forth. A little bit later in the presentation, I'll talk to you about Bluetooth Low Energy and how we can use that. So like I said before, we're going to be using the Arduino Uno. A lot of these concepts apply to other uh, Arduino models and even uh, some of the stuff you can do with Raspberry Pi or BeagleBone Black. So in order to do Bluetooth, oh, here I am doing my slides. Uh, hold on. There we go. Got some slides. So in order to do um, Bluetooth, we need a Bluetooth hardware. So there's two kinds. There's breakout boards, like those red boards there, which are a standalone board, which you wire into your, um, which you wire into your Arduino. And then the other side is a shield. The shield is just a fancy board that has pin compatibility with the Arduino. So that one's the Seed Studio Bluetooth uh, radio. So I'm going to be using the uh, Adafruit Bluefruit um, radio to do the classic stuff here. And the way we communicate between the Bluetooth radio and the Arduino is we do a serial connection. There's a transmit and receive pin on each of those, and we connect that to the uh, Uno. Now I'm showing arrows there, but we're actually going to hook wires up. And once we hook the wires up, we have uh, there's a library called Software Serial, and that lets us take any two pins in the Arduino and make a virtual serial port. So we're going to do serial between the Arduino and the Bluetooth radio, and then we'll do between the Bluetooth radio, we'll do Bluetooth over to the phone. The nice thing about this setup is that the hardware handles almost all this for us. So we have a very short Arduino sketch here, which you can't read, but I'm going to go through this in detail. This sketch, uh, or Arduino program, is just going to increment a counter. And when it increments a counter, it's going to send the data over Bluetooth. So the first thing we do is we import the software serial library that comes with the base Arduino. We take two pins, six and seven. We say we're going to use those for receive and transmit. And we make an instance of software serial called Bluetooth. I also have a counter variable, which we're going to hold the uh, current counter. The setup function in an Arduino program is called one time. So we need to do two things. We're setting up a serial connection, which is like our debug or our serial out. And we're setting up Bluetooth. Once we set up, we're OK. Now the loop part of the Arduino program gets called over and over again. So we're going to print the value to the debug console so we can see what's going on. We're going to print the value over Bluetooth. We're going to increment the counter. And then we'll sleep for one second so we won't count too fast. So I'm going to open the serial monitor. It helps if I plug my Arduino in. So when I connect the serial monitor, it resets the uh, program, and then the Bluetooth counter just starts counting, which in itself isn't too interesting. But now this computer has been paired with this Bluetooth radio. So if I use a program like CoolTerm, which is just a terminal program, I can set the connections and say, connect to that radio. And if all goes well, we connect. And then it starts getting that data. So the, one in the, back, the window in the background is this, the debug terminal through the Arduino IDE. The one in the foreground is actually getting Bluetooth data and printing it out to the console. 
Now that in itself isn't too exciting, but what it shows is that we can use the Bluetooth essentially as a serial port. So if you're writing py programs on Python, you can use Pi Serial. You can use Node Serial Port for Node.js, and Ruby has a serial port gem. So you can really easily write a program that'll run on your computer, and then it'll connect to your Arduino completely wirelessly. Um, I do a lot of work with mobile phones, and uh, PhoneGap's a platform that lets me write mobile, native mobile apps with HTML and JavaScript. So I wrote a plugin for that. This isn't necessarily a PhoneGap talk, but my demos use this plugin that lets us do Bluetooth serial from Arduino. So for that, I have some software which mirrors my phone, really tinily in this case, I guess. And we're going to have to disconnect, cool term. And then we're going to launch this program. There's a little bit of a lag between what happens on my screen and what you see there. So what happens is this goes out and it connects, and then it's receiving that data that the computer was receiving before. Now it's receiving it using JavaScript and displaying it in a native Android app here. And so that was really easy. From the Arduino side, all we need to do is set up that serial connection and say, write the data. Similarly, we can read the data in, which we'll show in another example. But before we do that, I want to get to Bluetooth Low Energy for a minute. We were using Bluetooth Classic there before, which works really good. <clears throat> Problem is, when you want to deal with something like an iPhone, it, you can't do Bluetooth Classic. You have to do Bluetooth Low Energy. Fortunately, there's a lot of new hardware coming out that'll support Bluetooth Low Energy and run on the Arduino side. One problem is that Bluetooth Low Energy doesn't have serial port profile. So there's no common way to send data back and forth. But fortunately, most of the hardware that I have, uh, it provides a UART or a serial-like service so we can mimic that serial connection over Bluetooth Low Energy. So for the second example, we want to have, uh, I have this strip of NeoPixel lights which are pretty neat, and we want to be able to light the NeoPixel lights up running a program on the iPod Touch here. So we're going to send some data over the connection. We're going to send a, the letter C and then the red, green, and blue components of the color. So if I want to turn the lights to be blue, I can send 00255. So although this is using a uh, Red Bear Labs Bluetooth low energy radio, it still connects the same way. There's basically two wires for transmit and receive. So as far as my Arduino program is concerned, it doesn't know if it's running Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Low Energy. We do the same thing. We set up software serial. And then in the loop, we do a little bit different code. We basically go through there, and we're reading this on the Arduino side. We scan to find that letter C. Once we find that letter C, we parse the next three integers so we can set a color. So now, if the uh, demos cooperate, Okay, unfortunately this isn't mirroring on the phone, so I'll have to hold the phone up to show you uh, what it looks like. So this is another application written in PhoneGap. And Bluetooth Low Energy works a little bit different. Instead of pairing with the, um, instead of pairing with it, you actually go out and you discover and then you connect to services. So in most cases you can use what's called Just Works and there's no pairing at all involved. So I have this uh, app here, and it gives me a list of the Bluetooth radios. I was only expecting one, so hopefully the one I pick will be my re correct radio. And this is where the demos aren't cooperating. We'll give this one more try here. Hold on, switching to my backup phone, see if the backup phone will actually connect. Oh well. So unfortunately this demo is not cooperating. But what happens here is we send that command. On the phone gap side, we have a very similar API where we say Bluetooth serial write, and we write the data across. And uh, if it had worked, and now my computer's not working either. Hold on one second. 
So if it had worked, we would be able to light that strip of lights up. Um, hopefully I can get this working after the presentation. If you guys want to come over there and see it, I can run that demo. But for right now, I'm out of time, and I need to let the next speaker go. I might have time for one quick question if anybody has questions. All right. Thank you guys very much, and uh, build some cool stuff.